Hey, curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today we're going shopping. I'm so excited because I haven't gone shopping in over a year. Like, I've done a lot of online shopping, obviously, but because of quarantine and COVID, your girl ain't left the house. So it's literally been over one year since I have stepped foot into a mall, a Sephora, an Ulta, like, this is a big deal. So I'm going to be risking my life today for you guys for this vlog and we're going to look for a black owned brands. As you guys know, I'm celebrating Black History Month by highlighting black brands all month long, especially on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. So if you don't follow me, you're missing out on some really dope brands. But I'm going to go to Ulta today and see which black owned brands I find. And then I might do like a part two and go to Sephora, maybe part three, go to Target. We'll see how this day goes. So I'm giving you a minimal beat today. Don't have any um, eyeshadow, lashes, not gonna waste any lipstick. <laughs> not to put a mask on, so we're not gonna do. Um, and my hair is up in these two little space buns because it is wash day, for sure. Couldn't stretch it anymore. And I might be buying some hair products. So I didn't wanna waste a wash day when I have new products to try. So I got my mask, I'm ready to hit the road. Look at that, right when you step in the door, you see Pattern Beauty. I've been ordering all of my things online, so it's really fun to see the products in person, especially this new line. Oh, and look how big the jumbos are, yes. So I found the actual pattern section. I would buy this right now, but spoiler alert, I am gonna be collabing with Pattern soon, so I think they're gonna send me this and their other scalp products. I'm excited, um, but yes, look at this representation. Love it. And now what I actually came here for, melanin hair care. I have not tried these yet. I'm gonna pick these up today. So I'm gonna get the African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. I don't, should I get the leave-in conditioner? I don't really use leave-ins like that. And then she has one styler. I'm gonna get that one. And then a multi-purpose oil blend. I think I'm gonna get everything but the oils because I'm not really an oil person. So I'm gonna get those three. I believe Creole Essence is also a black owned brand. They've got some oils as well. They have shampoo, conditioner, pomade, scalp care. It seems like scalp care is a really big deal lately. So these before and after picks look real intriguing. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get this, give it a try, do it a true test on maybe one of my friends and show you guys the results. Let me know if you've tried this. And then we have Design Essentials. I already have a bunch of this at home. I think I have this entire collection, so don't need me that. I need to get a basket. So let me go ahead and get this one and this one. And let's get the styler. And I kind of want to try this oil too. Shopping and oh, no big deal. Just my friend Leticia on the poster. <laughs> Awesome, she also has her own black owned brand, the Tress Hats. This is the owner, isn't she beautiful? So technically, Carol's daughter and the main choice are no longer black owned, but TGIN is. But they have a styling gel, curl balm. I might try that one. Shea Moisture is also no longer black owned, but it is black founded. I'm not really like mad at it for selling your company, but uh, just FYI, these TGIN also look really cool with rose water. Ooh, tempting a hair mask. I'm just gonna be spending too much money today. I really wanna smell this, but I can't with my mask on. So here's the thing, do I need any more hair products? Absolutely not. But I kinda wanna try them anyways. Ooh, we're just gonna quickly walk past this section right here. Coming for you, one day. Ooh, Shayla's collab with Morphe. Morphe is not a black owned brand, but I do like supporting a black influencer. Her makeup videos are bomb. I do want to try this foundation, but it looks like they don't have my colors. So I guess it's good that they're selling out, but um, yep, no shades for me. Maybe next time. Yes, Juvia's Place. I'm so excited that they are in Ulta. I'm actually wearing this foundation today, but ooh, they have translucent powder. I don't have any of their setting powders yet. Love that. I have all these foundations at home as well. I have most of these palettes. They're super pigmented and all their products are also super affordable. Their entire nude lip collection is fire, hence why it's like sold out. Their lip liners are also bomb. Briogeo, also black owned. 
I haven't tried this top shelf yet, but they are gonna send me some, so stay tuned for that. But all their Do Not Despair repair stuff is amazing. Curl Charisma is also really good. Beauty Bakery. I've been wanting to try this for so long. Look how cute everything is. Everything is like baked dessert type of theme. They have foundation. They also have setting powder. Ooh. Oh, look at these little, little cake pop pieces. I just love it. The flower, translucent powder, setting powder, get it? Setting spray, it looks like, like Pam. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna get a foundation and a concealer and maybe a lip. Wait a minute, blending eggs, beauty blenders in an egg carton? Oh, it's the packaging for me. And right when you walk in, Alicia Keys has her own skincare line called Keys Soul Care. Uh, let's check out the pricing. Looks like everything is like 20, 30 bucks. Okay, kind of normal high-ish end pricing. So she has the Soul Transformation Cream, the regular one and one that's fragrance free. She has a mask. I think I'm gonna go with the regular moisturizer and then also the mask. Goodness gracious, what would I do for you guys? And we did it, basically $250 later. Oh man, it's, it's for a good cause, you know? Black owned brands, Black History Month, do it for the people. Good gracious, you guys, how did that happen? How does that happen? Um, there you go, about 250 bucks real quick. I hope I like these brands and these new products, excited to try them. I didn't get Pattern or Briogeo or Juvia's Place only because I own most of them already and I'm on their PR list so I could probably just ask and they'll send it to me. Ain't no shame in my game, I gotta save some coins somewhere. So if I can get it for free, I mean, why not? You do it. So I got the Beauty Bakery Flower, their setting powder in the color Plantain Caramel because I don't have a black owned brand setting powder. I also got the Beauty Bakery Concealer, which is called Full Coverage Concealer in Jamsterdam. Then I got one more Beauty Bakery thing. The foundation, Insta Bake Aqua Glass in the color 325 Neutral. Because of COVID, I wasn't able to actually do like a swatch test, so I'm kind of just guessing that this is the right color. I kind of do that anyways when I shop online, so it's not a big deal. Always can return if it's not the right color. For Alicia Keys, I got her Harmony Mask and her Moisturizer. Skin Transformation Cream, excuse me. It's not just a moisturizer. Then I got the TGIN Curl Balm Moisturizing Styling Gel. Very excited for this. You guys know I'm a gel girl. And then Melanin Hair Care, because I had to support Natural, a fellow black content creator, one of like the OGs on YouTube. So much respect for her. And I think my favorite video from her is her flaxseed gel game changer if you have type 4 hair you should definitely be following her melanin twist elongating styling cream I don't do twist outs it's just not not my jam I don't really like to do them I don't like the ending results on my hair type but I want to see if this works as a wash and go and then I got melanin African black soap reviving shampoo is this leaking Ugh. I just realized I got a sticky bottle let me sanitize my hands real quick and the Melanin Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. I'm also not really a leave-in girl, so I don't really know how I'm going to like the Melanin Hair Care just because these aren't really products that I go for. I wish she had, I'm sure she will have some stylers in the near future, but I'm still gonna give them a try. If you've already tried any of these, let me know which ones I should be excited for. So I was gonna go to Sephora, but I really don't need to be spending any more money. Oh, I was sad that they didn't have Uma Beauty in stores, so I couldn't get that one. If I go to Sephora, they're gonna have Fenty, which I already have a lot of Fenty. Brands have made it really easy to find black owned products. So if you just go to like the Ulta website, for example, go to search, type in black owned, celebrating our black owned brands, and you could swipe and it shows you, oh, they didn't have Urban Hydration either, I wanted that one. They have all the different brands that they carry. Some of them are only online, I've learned, not in stores, but it makes it real easy to shop. 
So respect to Ulta for doing that. Let's go to Sephora. Went to Sephora, typed in black owned in the search and it says, oh, people are texting me. It says our black owned beauty guide. So then they have their black owned brands as well. Uh, they got a lot of Fenty, Pat McGrath, ooh. $38 for a lipstick. I think I'm gonna stick with my Juvia's Place if I do say so myself. Bread, Alyssa posted about this. They have like really simple, cute packaging. Tempting. You guys seen these, their little hair masks and these little packets? Okay, so bread is not available in stores where I live, so that's a fail. Oh, there is Fenty Skin. Haven't tried her skin stuff yet. I don't know if I've heard really good things. Um, Goldie is a skincare line. KNC, Shani Darden. Mm, good to know. I don't know if it's gonna like, pull. oh my goodness. This is an $88 retinol cream. I think I spent enough for today. Or I can go to Target and do like a Target haul. I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed my little shopping experience. I do like the Ulta, we kind of broke everything down. I like that they have the black brands right up in the front, at least for this month. Um, won't be mad if it stayed there all year round though. I will do a part two shopping for black owned brands at Target. I think I'm gonna do that now, but make it a part two video. But then I'm also gonna show you videos on all the products that I bought and also leave your suggestions below if I missed any brands or ones that you know I would like that are black owned leave me a comment down below so I could check them out even though I am highlighting these for black history month I'm not going to stop promoting black brands on like the last day of February it's going to be obviously a lifetime thing but I'm just giving black brands just a little extra sprinkle this month if you enjoyed shopping with me, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. Oh, by the way, Curly Gang Gang Gang. This is also a black owned brand. Curly Prince, I will tag them on Instagram. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.